landscaping business owners. So I've created a list of six free marketing strategies that you can put into your business immediately to get the phone ringing and fill your calendar up with brand new clients. And this is really good stuff. Although there's stuff that costs money, here we're specifically going to talk about all the free stuff you can do and I'll get into this in one second. I want to say that you want to prioritize the highest ROI, what is the biggest bang you can get for free, and then you prioritize down from there, of course. So number one is email marketing and I'm also going to give you resources of books you can check out on audible.com. I just want to make this just as information packed as possible. If you're listening to this on my podcast on the Untrapped podcast with Keith Kelfus on Spotify and Apple, you can listen to it there too as well. So number one is email marketing and some of the things you might already know but if you stick around all the way to the end I'll share some really good low cost stuff too just for like a bonus. So email marketing you can use all different constant contact, MailChimp. I use MailChimp. Two hours ago, I literally scrubbed a list down to 485 people and I sent an email marketing campaign to 485 of our existing landscaping customers. Then I have another list of like 785 customers from 2019 forward of all of our jobber clients. We do landscaping window cleaning, so I separate them for landscaping window cleaning. And the reason you want to do email marketing is because it's free or very low, low, low cost. Uh, you can set up to 5,000 emails a month on MailChimp. So you can literally type it out just like you're typing an email to a friend. How do you get all these emails? Well, you would have had to have previously asked all your customers for their emails. I don't know if you've got QuickBooks or some type of CRM software where you've been collecting their email. And if you don't, maybe you can go get on the phone and just start calling all of them. And that, that leads me to the next thing. If you can, if you got to call them to get their email, you might as well go through the list of all your old customers. This is the highest ROI thing you can do is go back to customers who have already quote unquote kind of given you money. They already know you, like you, and trust you. So the lowest customer acquisition cost, because it costs you money, time, and energy to acquire customers, is to go back to people you've already done business with, right? And we've done business with over 5,000 people. So of course I wanna go through that list and go, and number one is email them. Why? Because you can send an email to thousands of people at the click of a button once. It's a lot faster than calling or texting, right? But number two, so get MailChimp, email all your customers and say, hey, we, we got services available. We'll cut your lawn, we'll trim your shrubs, we'll do the decorative stone, we're installing ponds, water feature, whatever. Like, hit them up and make sure they can get in contact with you, do it now. Number two is voicemail broadcast. Um, my friend Joshua Latimer has a company called Send Jim. He has this thing called Radius Bomb. There's also another thing called Sly Broadcast and there's other softwares like this available and it's called a ringless voicemail. So uh, be careful with this. What I do is I scrub down a list of our 5,000 customers we've had and we have, and I scrub it down to a list of about uh, 750 people. Now the other like multiple thousand people, I don't want to contact again. I just scrubbed it down to a tight list and I segment that. Um, this not, might not make sense to you, but I've segmented it down to lists of 100 each. And I create a voicemail and say, hey, it's Keith with Kelfus Professional Services. It looks like we've uh, done business with you in the past. And we're just uh, reaching out to say if you need your shrubs trimmed, your landscaping done, your windows clean, reach out to us, give us a call or send me an email, Keith, at, you know, and I give him my email. And then I send that out to 100 people at a time, and then the phone starts ringing. Okay? The next thing that you want to do, so go to Sly Broadcast, like Rocky Balboa, Sly Broadcast is call previous clients. Like if that ain't working right away, get on the phone and go through your call logs. Anything you can do to get their phone, you go in your, your, your address book. Hopefully you have, you're in the habit of saving. Sorry, my little dog is uh, in the, all the way in the backyard barking his ass off at like a squirrel or something. And you can hear it all the way. I'm on my front porch right now, chilling. Like I just took my work clothes off and I'm trying to make this video for so but um and my little poor dog he has a heart issue and he had a heart attack yesterday in the backyard and I held him and um I his heart stopped because he was chasing a squirrel and I was beating on his chest and rubbing his neck and I started praying like to the Holy Spirit with everything I had and he came back and he was panting so we got a doctor's appointment for him quick and so I'm like I'm a little nervous if you know I love my little dog so much you don't know him. <laughs> All right, so that was a little random. The next thing is um, call previous clients. Literally get on the phone and start calling these people. 
and say, hey, so-and-so from two years ago, hey, do you need anything done, blah, blah, leave them a voicemail, they'll pick up. Get on the phone for hours at a time and call these people. Then you can also text them. There are text message softwares where you can send a text to thousands of people at once, you know, or you can get on and just start texting. Hey, Jim, what's up? You need that thing done again. You need shrubs, you need maintenance. Text your customers. Next thing is post on Google My Business. I hope you have a GMB account, Google My Business. It no longer exists. Now it's basically Google Maps. When you're logged in underneath your actual like email, your business account, go get on there, post pictures, hit up all your customers and ask them to leave you positive reviews. The customers that have left positive reviews, go and respond to those reviews with well-worded thank yous, and then go in and create offers with the deadlines and create um, like an offer means like, hey, we offer, we'll do this thing for you. You can do this inside of Google My Business on Google Maps now and go and create noise inside of there so you show up at the top of the, the Google algorithm when people are searching in your local city. So be very active on Google My Maps, which used to be Google My Business, and it's free. Very powerful. Next thing is post on Facebook. I hope you get a business page. Start posting on Facebook. Post on the stories. Link it back and check into your own business. You know, you can press that little map icon and post on social media regularly uh, invite follow people click like respond do all that stuff like invest in that so that's six things that you could do right now post on all social media get very very active your phone is your best friend um, now here's the stuff I, I promise you at the end which is very very low cost which is uh, business cards you know I got an uncle who's been in business for like 30 years and I can't well, couldn't even go to like get gas at the gas station without seeing his freaking business cards shoved in behind the plastic somewhere like everywhere and it gave me an idea because he's a hustler carry a stack of business cards everywhere you go with you you can get an old cell phone clip one of those those leather things that clip on your belt and you put your phone in there stack 50 business cards in there and everywhere you go inside of restaurants when you go in jimmy john's to get a sub put it in the cork board I got one of our best clients for five years now because I put a freaking business card and Jimmy John's on the cork board and be a walking, talking, advertising, marketing campaign that never, ever, ever stops. Um, it takes about three weeks from the moment you pull the trigger on some type of marketing thing before it turns into actual work and money in the bank. Um, so you got to always be marketing. If you're really busy and things are going good, Keep marketing. Don't stop. If you're tired, this is very important. If you're tired, depressed, burned out, hopeless, and hey, you don't feel like even running your business and you can't take it anymore, don't stop marketing. Just reach your finger up and just keep doing it because <laughs> um, if you run out of work, that ain't good. Now, if you got a bunch of lawn care customers that keeps going, probably a different story. Uh, so the business cards cost money. The next thing is five rounds. Uh, if you have door hangers, business cards, flyers, whatever, whenever you take care of a customer, you or send your employees to go to the five local houses. So the one on each side of your customer and then the three across the street. It's called the five round. And go and put literature on all of their doorsteps or knock on the door and introduce yourself. But do that at every single job so you can build route density. So. Uh, it sucks. It's it's a lot of footwork, but that's how you get more customers quickly because you're uh, The next thing is a uh, bandit signs. These work phenomenal. You can go to like a Uzmarketing.com. I'll put li links below to all this stuff I think I get affiliate codes and discounts and all this stuff So UZ marketing you get like a hundred bandit signs for really cheap These things you stick in the ground and they have like the mesh wire thing These are powerful. You can get in trouble for posting them in some places like they'll yell at you or whatever but uh if there's ever a time we really really fortunately i haven't had to use them in a while but if you go stick them in all the turnarounds and the subdivisions and all over the place your phone will start ringing and um very powerful bandit signs well worth the investment go spend a couple hundred bucks on bandit signs and they'll pay for themselves very quickly uh print out more business cards pass them everywhere you go door hangers Go up and down the subdivisions and pass out door hangers. So if you ever get in a position where you have more time than you have work, go invest all that time into marketing and advertising and drumming up more work. And then returning your customers into re recurring clients, asking them for referrals by developing a referral, automatic referral generation system. Uh, you could do this stuff automatically 
with apps like Jobber, um, it automatically asks for the referral, for the follow-up, and for a positive review. You can automate all this stuff now. If you want to try a free trial of Jobber, go to getjobber.com slash Keith, and you get a free trial with my link, and you save a bunch of money if you sign up with my link. I'll put a link in the description below this video. And then here's the books, the resources, I promise you. One book's amazing, you got to listen to it. It's called Duct Tape Marketing by John Jantz on audible.com, J O N. J-A-N-T-S-C-H. Another book is called, I don't know if this one's on Audible, but it's called Guerrilla Marketing Contact, Guerrilla Marketing Tactics. No, Guerrilla Marketing Strategies by J. Conrad Levinson. That's another marketing book. Another book is called Purple Cow, Purple Cow by Seth Godin. He wrote a bunch of other marketing books as well. And go on an entire marketing and advertising binge where you become obsessed with it for like a year. Uh, I, I know you love rap and classic rock and whatever you're listening to, or if you're not listening to anything, get a pair of headphones, put some muffs over them, get your, your phone or your iPod, and dive deep into understanding as much as you can about marketing as possible, because it's literally the, the magnet that makes the phone ring and fills up your calendar with work. And I made this video a few years ago called Trickle Flow Flood. Flood is where you get to the point where it's just a rushing river of leads coming in. You're overwhelmed with so many people calling you that you can't even pick up the phone anymore because it's just way too much. And so if you want to grow your business to the next step and you want to have the option to even get rid of clients that you don't like or you, you can't get them to pay the rate that afford you to run a profitable business and you'd like to let some of those clients go or at least be able to afford to, to take the risk to raise the price on them a little bit and see how loyal they actually are to you but you're too afraid to well you can do that if you have your phone ringing off the hook and you have a lot of leads coming in but um with all that being said um i do want to say there's a caveat to this some of my clients very careful what i'm saying i've raised my prices year after year after year and I found myself, this year has been a funny year. It's weird. People are tight. They're not spending money like they usually have. And I've had to lower my prices. Lower than, uh, I raised them all like 12.5% for existing clients and 20% for all new clients. It blew up in my face. Uh, because the, it seems to me that all the customers aren't willing to spend that much to keep up with the inflation. You might be experiencing different, but I've, so basically I've had to keep the prior prices the same and raising them blew up in my face and I lost a ton of clients. So it's been a little frustrating because, um, the inflation has caused prices to raise all over the place. But what I mean, the caveat is if you've got good clients that don't necessarily pay the top dollar like you want to get paid but they're good clients and they're bread and butter clients and they always pay and they pay on time and they're easy to work with those are the clients that you, you should always keep a good relationship with and bend over backwards for because when times get tough those clients are going to save your business they're going to be the ones that keep that cash flow coming in even if they're not the best paying clients and you you might learn that the hard way so it says constant moment by moment balance and then when things turn around and they get good again uh things are great right now like this is not bad at all it's not like it's like 2008 but I, I have a customer a few years ago i had a really hard time in my business where i was depressed and this client of mine one of my favorite clients long-term client he's a restaurant owner he's been in the business his whole life and he said something to me i'm in his office collecting money and he's like you know what keith that's how business goes listen to what i'm about to tell you he says It'll get really, really good. You have the right guys working for you and you get great clients, you make really good money, then it gets better, then out of nowhere, the bottom falls out and it just gets bad. And it gets really, really rough for a while. And then it gets worse. And you, like you thought it was always gonna be good, but now it's bad and it's rough and you just fight your way through it and you, and after a little while, it actually, it'll start to get good again. Then it'll get bad again, then it'll start good, then it'll get really, really good. But don't get too excited because then it'll get hard again. And he says it just keeps going like that, up and down and up and down and up and down. Sometimes it gets really easy and then it gets hard and then it gets easy. And, then it, and that's just the nature and the cycles of business. And, you know, I, I was kind of afraid to talk about afraid to talk about that because I don't want it to be perceived as negative because some of these guys on social media are always smiling, acting like their business is so amazing and they're making so much money. And that's one thing that's really pissing me off this year, especially I've, I've been... I like to walk around my block at night and just pray and get exercise and think and I've been thinking about how 
I really want to be just authentic as possible on social media. That's kind of how I've grown, I guess you could say, my following here is being what you call hyper authentic and just pouring my heart out. And some people don't like it. They think it's crazy, fine. But I, I definitely do not care for the guys on social media that only paint the highlight reel all the time. And because they're terrified, like it's like they feel like they gotta impress you and they're and they're only telling you all the good stuff and then you get this perception in their, your head that your business sucks or that you suck or how are they crushing it like that all the time. They're not. I've been doing one-on-one -on -one coaching now uh, since 2015. If you go to keithkelfus.com slash call, I'm not trying to sell you anything, but I've been on the phone with hundreds of different people all over the country and all over the world coaching people on how to start their landscaping and window cleaning business and I even coach people on social media now and help them get their YouTube channels off the ground I've uh, all types of stuff like that like I love it it's a passion of mine and what I've learned is that when I get on the phone one-on-one -on -one with some of these guys they'll tell me all the really really good stuff of how they're crushing it and then I look at like we get a little bit deeper and I realize like they're not really crushing it they were just afraid to tell me the truth they were just telling me like the highlight reel and but the interesting thing about that is get in where you fit in like you you're if you're out there and you're in your business and you're constantly growing and you got new leads and your new customers and you're learning all these lessons and you're stacking some cheddar cheese in the bank and you're you're getting your business legit that's success that is a great thing right you are crushing it if you did a six or five or three thousand dollar job and you made a 50% profit margin, that's crushing it. So comparing yourself to other people is just entirely stupid if it's not for the reason of for building yourself up and, and if it doesn't inspire you and motivate you, then don't pay attention to it. But definitely don't believe in the highlight reels. Inside of some of the most successful appearing businesses is total, total tumultuous chaos and there's a lot of chaos and stress and anxiety but it's stuff that you're never gonna see public facing you don't see it they conceal all that stuff and they've gotten really good at concealing that and having a nice warm welcoming successful public facing image which in today's world is like that's success so I don't claim to be an expert in any of this but I just want to know like everybody goes through struggle so back to the original point of this video um, yeah you always keep marketing no matter what do the things that I said watch the video over listen to this on the untrapped podcast with Keith Kelfus we just crossed a half a million downloads you can go on any of your favorite podcast platforms iTunes stitcher Spotify anchor FM Apple Podcasts. go over there put on your headphones and listen while you work and um, let me know in the comments below what you think if you have any questions for me uh, truly genuinely excited for you and for all of your success and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and i'll see you on the flip flop yo